there are different reasons why you'd want to change the spark plug in the field. And one of them being if the spark plug is too carbonized. So what happens is there's no longer a gap and this gap is mandatory if you want to have the spark. So in order to change the spark plug, you want to take off the spark plug cover. Then you want to use this tool and you use the bigger side of it. This will allow you to take the spark plug out. and change it for the new one. The last step is to put the spark plug cover back on and you want to make sure it's fully on, otherwise you won't have the proper connection. Side note, it happens in the field where this section of the spark plug fall off and you need to make sure that the whole spark plug is complete in order to have the proper connection. Otherwise, you won't have the spark. One of the issues you can have with the pump is having an air lock. How do you know you're having an air lock? Well, it's not gonna sound right, so the RPM are gonna be high, and you're not gonna have any water flowing. So what's next? Now you wanna look for a loose connection where air could get in, so you can start by looking at your foot valve, you want to make sure it's totally submerged and it's not faulty. Next, you can look at your suction, your suction hose. You want to make sure that the connection is tight. And if it is, then you can look at your fill cap. You want to make sure that this is tight and not just hand tight. You want to use a wrench. And if all of these elements are tight, then you're good to go. So now that we've identified the source of the issue, we want to reprime the pump by taking off the check valve and using this hand primer. You can also reprime the pump by agitating the foot valve. So once you see water coming out, you know your pump is primed. And now you've taken out this airlock and your pump is ready to be throttled up again. A common mistake in the field is flooding your pump. This can happen by over priming during the fuel priming process or starting the pump with the choke on when the engine's already warm. You're gonna suspect that the pump is flooded if you can smell gas coming out of the air filter or if you see fuel dripping out of the air filter. Once you know that the pump is flooded, these are the steps to deflood the engine. First, disconnect your fuel line. Next, turn on, make sure that your choke is off and put the throttle to the maximum position. Next, you're gonna remove your spark plug. And while you do this, it's a good time to check for spark. Once you've confirmed that the spark plug is working correctly, you can move on to the next step in the deflooding process. Once the spark plug is out, you're gonna pull on the pull cord to air out the engine. Now that we've removed the spark plug, we need to air out the cylinder. To do this, we're gonna pull on the pull cord repeatedly until we stop seeing fuel coming out of the cylinder. The number of pulls is gonna depend on how flooded your engine is. While airing out the cylinder, another option to help do this is to remove the cylinder drain plug located at the base of the crankcase. When you remove the plug, make sure that you don't lose the gasket that comes with it. 